The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, did we, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> In Israel, the river Jordan flows into two seas. The first sea is the Sea of Galilee. And the Sea of Galilee is teeming with life, <coughs> with fish, with, with uh, plants, and the animals feed off the plants and off the fish. And fishermen make their living selling fish to the region, feeds the rest of the region. And then the Sea of Galilee goes out and feet and goes out, goes out of itself and becomes the River Jordan again and it floods the plains and fertilizes the plains. The second sea is the Dead Sea. And the Dead Sea is a dead end. It absorbs the water. And there is no life in the Dead Sea. No fish, no plants, and no animals. So that's the reason why they call it the Dead Sea. There is no outflow of the Dead Sea. Those two seas are a metaphor for life. We all have this inflow, this inflow in our life, this inflow of God. And we know that just by the mere fact that we are alive. And the question is whether there will be an outflow of God in our life. Are we like the Dead Sea that has no outflow, a dead end, 
And we are self-absorbed. Are we, are we like the Sea of Galilee that has an outflow and gives life? Some of our depression and emptiness that we experience at times in our life is because of how self-absorbed we can be. <coughs> And people experience are the healthy people are those who are feeling healthy are the ones who who are selfless. In the gospel, we hear that today. Jesus gives us the one criteria in all of the Gospels. He gives us that's the one place where he says he gives us the criteria for salvation in our life. Whether we have fed the hungry, given drink to the thirsty, welcomed the stranger, stranger clothed the naked, cared for the ill. And visited the prisoner. That is the one criteria of salvation. The criteria criteria is is there an outflow of God's love <coughs> in our life? This week you will be receiving in the mail. Got to get this. You will be receiving in the mail the stewardship card. And I'm asking today is there an outflow in your life into the parish? The start and beginning of that outflow in life in community starts here is there an outflow in our time and energy there are so many committees that need help in our parish that need new blood the adult spirituality committee the uh, stewardship committee could use some more people the advancement, the school advancement committee that I was talking about last night, yes, week, and uh, that's not written in here. But if you, all you got to do is just write it in, and that, or uh, are the auction committee. All these things in our parish need our help. challenge for us to get involved I just think about it last mass we had for the first time I've seen in a while I don't know is we had one of our youth doing the uh, doing reading the scripture and that she was only 14 and she was reading the scripture to us do we give our time and energy is there an outflow of that is there an outflow of our finances? In order to be healthy, not only are we giving our time and energy, but also of ourself, of our finances. Do we give that to the parish? Are we tithing to the parish and to the charities that are important in this world? Are we self-absorbed instead of trying to get what we want and what our children want, as opposed to teaching them what that outflow is in life and how important it is in our life to be healthy? Because when we have that outflow, that's when we meet Christ. Christ says, I was there in the least. Of my brothers and sisters and your brothers and sisters are
Are we the Dead Sea or are we the Sea of Galilee?